hello libra welcome back to the channel thank you for being here so this is going to be a quick energy check for you guys okay so i hope that you guys are enjoying your day night morning whenever it is that you find this video it finds you libra so keep in mind anything that you guys want to know about me is going to be in the description box down below other than that i'm going to go right in with your reading because i'm trying to make it a quick one so oh that is this is a lot okay okay hold up hold up libra can't even do that many can't even do that many give me the most important four cards please let's see so there's ancestor guides here for alchemy okay ancestor guides here for alchemy libra past lack and suffering okay Whew. This is definitely something coming in here. And I knew it was a lot. I feel the energy is a lot. What else do we need to know for Libra? See, it's trying to pop out. Release, surrender, and purge is here. Okay, what else? I feel like it's purging your emotions. There's a whole waterfall there. Okay, I guess you're going to get an extra one. Wow. All right. Celebration, gifts, abundance is here. Transcendence is here and unity. So they want you to celebrate a unity that's coming in for you. I'm going to put that right here because we're going to do that. Bottom of the deck, you're getting courage and change. So they want you to find your courage to change something here, Libra. Mm. Let's go right into the tarot, okay? Right into the tarot for you. Let's see what's going on. What do we need to know for the alchemy and ancestors guides for Libra? Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're looking at your finances or you're looking at your work or what you have been really putting into and just really trying to figure out if that is what really makes you happy. I feel like your ancestors here, they want you to question that. Is that what's going to make you happy? OMG. Because if not, you got to do the first steps of moving forward. Two of Wands. Make a choice. Seven of Swords. Strategize. Plan it out. Figure it out. What is it that you need to do? OMG. What is going on here? They want you to go into this new beginning of being more emotionally balanced for some reason. Okay. That's the message from your ancestors, Libra. That's your ancestors. Okay. What do we need to know about this um, release, surrender, purge for Libra? Release, surrender, purge. Let me see. Queen of Swords. Ten of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Libra. Okay, so I feel like here, I feel like they want you to put down all these burdens or be truthful about these burdens, maybe communicate these burdens towards a situation that has to do with the foundation and really go into this energy of teamwork. It's not just you, maybe another person too. Um, wow. Okay. Learning to cooperate, learning to not take all the worry, all the stress on, even though it's something that you're very passionate about, because let me tell you something, you got 14, 14 wands there, 10 and four. So it's definitely something that's going on in the home. I don't think it's really something that is supposed to be your burden though. I feel like they want you to judge Four of Pentacles, and I'm going to put it there. I feel like they want you to judge the situations that you've been carrying burdens for or responsibilities for or the struggles that you've been having for yourself. And I think they want you to really look at it and really, instead of taking everything on yourself, Libra, just really try to go into some teamwork and start Four of Pentacles playing it small. Give yourself a break too. 444 was just there when I looked up at the camera. Wow. Okay. So what do we need to know about this past lack and suffering for Libra? 
Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the lovers. Mm. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the lovers, okay, in the upright. Six of Cups in the upright. Temperance. So, somebody didn't do what they needed to do when they were younger and they couldn't make a decision over a past situation and it's like it's almost as if instead of balancing this past situation it's like if this person just wasn't committed to this past situation okay so maybe that could be it. Maybe you're experiencing some regrets from the past. Maybe something that you didn't do that you were supposed to do. Maybe you were supposed to treat someone a certain type of way and you just didn't. Time has passed or something to that nature. What's going on with the celebration gifts and abundance for Libra, please? Celebration gifts and abundance. Let's see here. Wow, we're getting the tower. Don't be scared of the tower, guys. Seven of Wands, okay. Page of Swords, okay. And Nine of Pentacles. So, I feel like there's definitely a tower moment here, Libra, that you are trying to be defensive about or you're trying to protect this situation. But whoever you're trying to protect, which might be this pre-empress energy here with Nine of Pentacles, they are knowing and they are aware that this is what you're trying to do because there's this page of swords here watching you, trying to avoid this tower from coming down. Wow. All right. Transcendence is here. You are the only reading so far that got five cards. Okay. So feel blessed. We might go up to 15. Let's see. What else for Transcendence? Mm. Two of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Seven of Swords. Oh, I mean, Six of Swords. Sorry, guys. Six of Swords. What else for Transcendence? Three of Cups. And one more, please. Oof. Ace of Wands. Okay. So... This is so interesting that spirit is really coming out with this right now. Okay, so unity. You wasn't able to make a decision, kind of weighing your options out, but really not so sure. And the thing is, now this situation has passed for you, Libra, because now Six of Swords is here. It's like you've gone from chaotic waters into calmer waters, maybe from a chaotic environment how it used to be and now the environment is calmer and now you feel like okay i can celebrate in this environment but it's almost as if spirits like i'm trying to give you this wand for the courage that you're gonna need because of what's coming so i do feel like someone here has either felt like the timing has passed between you and them maybe they feel like you do too much or you just don't give enough let me see what's the bottom of the deck here this is going for change up there what high priestess libra you know this libra you know this you know this you know this information you knew this tower was coming you knew this situation was going to get like this you knew you were taking on too much something within the home that you're taking on too much but it's not like you're not voicing it. You're not voicing it, okay? And now maybe you work too much. And this person's like, listen, I got to sit you down. I got to tell you what I got to tell you. And it's kind of like, yeah, but I don't want to hear that. That's why Libra is here in this protective energy. What's the bottom of the deck? Trust. Look, I accept that my inner voice will always give, get, guide me. Guide me correctly. Wow, Libra. All right, let's get your five cards here. One for each section, okay? Success. Forgiveness, but it's in the reverse. Success. I know that there is no longer, no greater goal than to love. So you know that. You know that, Libra. But I think 
whoever you are dealing with at the moment, Libra, I feel like that's not what they want to do. You're getting forgiveness in the reverse. So either somebody doesn't want to forgive you or you don't want to forgive them for trying to have this tower moment. This is saying, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. That's past and suffering. You are not forgiving someone from your past, Libra. There is someone from your past. You're not forgiving them. Maybe you're not forgiving yourself. Release and surrender. Look what it's getting. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Mm -hmm. Because you should have been more evolved. I don't know. More involved. Not evolved, but more involved. Um, what else for Libra, please? Oh, I think I got the two. I was holding it. Happiness is here for celebrate gifts and abundance. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. You felt like you... I don't get it, Libra, because you felt like you was on the right path. You feel like you were on the right path. You feel like you were successful for this person. But you didn't. Because you didn't communicate it. Or you didn't have the courage to tell this person, listen, I am very happy with you. Look what you're getting for transcendence and unity growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Because whatever was right in front of you, Libra, you just were not looking. Failure. That's going for the bottom of the decks over here. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Wow. Wow. I think this was a big mistake. If your person is a good person by nature, if they really are pre-empress, I don't even think they're pre-empress. To be honest with you, I think they are empress, empress. They'll forgive you in the long run. Maybe if you put in the work. Work on it. See if it works out. And for those of you who are like, hell no, this is not my story. It's not your story, honey. Don't force it to fit in. But for some of you that are, that forgiveness is very necessary because there's something from the past that you're not forgiving and it's not allowing you to make the right choice to become vulnerable and really let people come in. And it's like you're constantly failing at what you're supposed to be good at, okay? Okay. So, trust me when I tell you, Libra, you guys are uh, the justice card. Yeah, you guys are the justice card. You guys are all about what's right and what's wrong. And if you know that there's a situation from the past that is really, really affecting you, that is really not allowing you to be at your highest potential, you should really either consider getting some type of help to speak to someone or really sit down and have a conversation with yourself and see if it's fair for you to kind of like make others suffer or pay for what they have no knowledge of. Mm, Libra. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Okay. Um, you guys already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and share. If it's not your story, leave it right here at the table. Um, because this is obviously somebody's. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you all in your next reading. Bye, Libra.